Hello everyone. Today I want to show a simulation case about how to use VCC team method to simulate the crack propagation in the double beam model. So here is the simulation result. And this part is cracked in the middle. Now let, to, let me sh show you how to create this model. And this the mesh is imported into this uh, abqce, but in the 2D deformable part, there are two different element types. So here is the material different material parameters and we give the years modular and pressure ratio. And we create a 2D solid homogeneous section and assign it to the part. Uh, now I want to <coughs> query the element type. So I click the query tools and click the mesh. And I can, it can tell me that the element number and types. So there is only one part and the element number is 720 elements. But actually, the node in the middle is not is not adjacent, and I can you hear? Now we can edit mesh. And from this, we can know if there's any nodes are not merged. So as we can see, the nodes in the middle is not merged. Uh, we can also make it as two parts and the constant nodes are bounded through the VCCT method. So we have created two sets We have created some set and it includes a top and the bottom element and the nodes used to bound this interface. So in the initial state the red half 
are bounded. Then in the step module, we create a static general step and we modify the increment size and number of increments and to create a field output request we need to output the stress and displacement and the bound state or bound damage about the contact this this results we need to query and check so in the interaction module we need to create the VCCT in the contact property so first we need to create a property for the for the bonded nodes here we need to define the fraction criteria and here we choose the VCCT type and we use the mixed model behavior with BK model and here is the critical energy re release rate model 1, 2, 3 and exponent a coefficient so this is the contact property we need to use for the VCCT bounded nodes and in the contact property in the contact we need to create need to create um, bond this is the must top must surface and slip surface but here we need to adjust the bounded nodes in the right half and check the bounded load set limit bounding to slaveness in subset here then we need to define the boundary condition and we fix on the right end and in the left end, we need to give to opposite displacement. And here is the top bottom top part. And this one is bottom half. So in the mesh module, we didn't do anything because the mesh is imported and the only thing we need to pay attention to is about the is about the element type here we used cpe4 element type this is plain string element and then we can uh, create a job and submit it and here is the result as we show you at first this is the stress and there are many other results we have defined in the field output about the critical stress the bounded station state damage and the time so
in the history outputs, we have defined a reaction force and spatial displacement in the y direction. This is the displacement we gave to the node, and here is the re reaction force in the y direction. So if we combine to this, we can get a displacement and direct force curve. And here we can do that the max load is about 16 Newton and the crack has been initiated and propagated. And the bonded has let value. And here is the energy release rate because the half set half the left half has not bonded at the first, but the right part has bonded at the first. So it has a value for energy release rate. This. In this simulation, we showed how to use the VCCT method to simulate crack propagation in ABCE. That's all for this tutorial. If you are interested in ABCE, please, please sub sub subscribe my channel and let's start together.